Alrighty. Thirteen. As an unlucky number, so we need to push on past it. Bane Loom, that's a cool name. I figure I figure you probably should have a uh, shroom application though with a name like that. Well, Roturf, it's like a bad skaven. But it's okay. Uh, Bane Loom and Makro are like the same, except Makro has one more health. You know, at a certain point, I could just say that I start rotating. Um, technically, I just got off a Shade Mancer, and before that, it was a Clunk Master. I mean, I, I would just choose Makro here, probably anyway, but. We could think about maybe going rotating at some point. All right. Sag. This guy has extra health. Slightly annoying. Definitely won't be getting any combos here. if I hit this thing. Um, since that's the case, let's freeze it because now I'm just going to run into gobbling here. Also, if I do hit it with the sword though, means I would uh, hit that, which wouldn't be good, so let's do that. We're not getting much money on this fight. Kind of just low rolled, pretty hardcore, really. I want to at least get one combo this fight. Three and one go into that. Um, four and four. So we get a three turn kill. Frozen Traveler or Charm? I think Frozen Traveler. Colonel or Tycho? You'd want Colonel and Tycho together. Um, I think I already have a mock row here that has multi strike and it's not even aimless, so that can be the damage carry, and we just take Colonel, because Colonel is legit. Now we even could take like a uh, Chomp Chomp and technically get by. Ooh. Hmm. 
So mobile campfire. Could just run a floor that's mobile campfire, kernel, and macro. I think with mobile campfire, is like it's not necessarily very good into the final fight, but it's good otherwise because you can just keep shifting it around. Same thing with the pepper flag. I think the pepper flag has better application to the end game though. But would have probably liked to see something other than kernel if I was going to make that work. And the sunlight drum just isn't better than the sunlight rod. So it's a card that's not even better than your starter. Uh, we might just take the thing that's good right now, but which would be mobile campfire. Pepper Flag is just taken out of turn, unfortunately, here. Yeah, we'll do Mobile Campfire. There's the Pyra, so he... Hmm. Big Berry or Pyra? Or could this actually just be a run where Bonnie is legitimately good? Because I could actually keep Bonnie alive with Colonel and then heal Colonel back, but the heal is just so weak. I think we'd be better off just getting a uh, an actual heal card. I mean, it's basically like the barrage, which already sucks, except I have to wait four turns, and that's a unit that doesn't even attack. It's either Pyra or Big Berry. I can see Pyra working. Um, if I can get six attack added to a multi-striker, then that's pretty good. I could run Makro mid for the final fight with Colonel in front. Now we really wish we'd have took that other thing though, but or I could just take Big Berry. It's also an option. I could take the Pyra. Okay, been ages since I've seen this. We have another teeth fight, but that'll hopefully just be training dummy that takes care of that. Well, no training dummy, but I could draw into it. Um, so I can put down what I need to put down. We hit and draw. Freeze that. Put the woodhead up top. I mean, it, this guy only does one three times, but if it somehow hit my hero, it'd be three, two, one. So five, six. It'd be a lot of damage. I could survive it, though. I think we just put the kernel down here, actually. Save these for what's coming up. Alright, that works. Here, but now that the gobbler's here, I don't want it to uh, kill me. Play two. So I would kill that, um, actually in the first hit, and then that would die. Let's at least get two hits out of Goblin. Actually, this wouldn't even die. 
But I'll still get two hits, and then I'll just let Macro get a combo here. Should have just hit this with the snow stick. Oh well. Oh. Did I really miss do the math there? I thought I was doing 15 damage. I guess I was doing 9. Okay. Probably want this campfire to eat the Veiled Lady hit. Okay, I was reading it wrong. The spice, I was like 9 plus 6, but it's just 9. It's 6 plus the 3. So I do 9, 9. Let's try to line this up. through anyway. What is with this? Alright, I need to go the route that ends up at the woolly snail, which is supposedly this one. Sure. Wait. Yeah, okay. It's honestly not that clear. Uh, hmm. don't know that we need a wart when I already have my hero. Technically would do more damage, you know, it has a lower cooldown and two shroom is typically better than three attack. It is aimless though. Bomb bomb could be pretty good here. Pooty, eh. Definitely like the bomb bomb, perhaps. Take out the spike. Yeah. Does mean that the clunker I took is most likely useless, but it's not a particularly amazing clunker anyway. Alright, pretty easy storm globe here. Hopefully we get some good stuff. Shellbow. Pink berry juice, but I can't get a crown if I take it. Came in at a super high cost. I think we take it though. I don't know. I could take the juice and the molten dip. I think that would be decent. You know, that'll give me a lot of extra damage. This is the time when the crown doesn't win. Unfortunately. But 
I stand by it. Let's get Bomb Bomb out, I think, instead of, uh... Instead of Colonel. If it's Infernoco, maybe we want Spike in still, but I don't know. I think Colonel already does pretty well into, Infern or into Infernoco. So does this. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. Alright, it's Infernoco. We got extra health in the Porcupine. That's not too bad. Let's get them in. Do that. Get less attack to Infernoco. Put you here. Trying to get some money. We've been pretty money starved. More teeth. some acorn. Nine clears that. This makes more sense. Given that we didn't draw a bomb bomb, I think we just kill Infernoco here. I don't know that I can install out enough. I mean, I bottom deck the pink berry juice as well. Let me think. Bomb bomb has 12 health. Do I freeze 
macro. I think so. did what we could to get that money. Okay, good. It spawned. This card is so bad. It's so bad. Take a chrono, but I don't have the initial crown. I guess I'll get one here. Um, Frenzy Pyro would be interesting. Because we wouldn't really want a Frenzy Colonel. I mean, I can't get the thing to stick anyhow. It's awkward. I can actually see Bling Bank here. Because it, here's the thing, I just don't know where Chrono fits. I guess I could... I mean, once Colonel dies, I guess I put Chrono in. Doesn't actually have to be on the floor with them either. I mean, I could find maybe something for this. Yeah, we'll take Chrono. It's just easily the best clunker in the game, but... Oh, Shelbo. Yeah, we're taking that. And then obviously we should take crown oh man I can't take snow cake if I do that I mean in the final fight I don't know that chrono is, I mean Shobo still doesn't work for it could just use snow cake and a charm we're really not Utilizing our chrono here, but I think that's fine. We have crown and bomb bomb. Yeah, I don't think I gain much from a crown actually. Well, lumen vase shell bow though. Like get just getting another crown would be pretty good. I think we take it. I want to see if this gets Frenzy from Chrono. Either way, though, once I get the Lumen Vase, I do want to be able to get at least some units out, but also Lumen Vase, the Shelbo. So, don't think we need a Palm Bomb. Yeah. Smackback? Oh my god. You gotta be shitting me. Alright, we're definitely locking that down. Let's give these guys a shell bow first.
I wouldn't kill this guy. does actually get um, the uh, frenzy, by the way, from Chrono. So that's pretty cool. So clear that whole floor. gonna put bomb bomb ahead here all right I miscalculated that thought I was gonna live thought wrong apparently Definitely feeling the. I'm glad I took a crown, let's put it that way, because I'm feeling the pain of not taking that first crown, and the pain is quite large. Five and two, that does survive that. Kinda sucks that Bomb Bomb died there. So next fight, number five. Yeah, we really didn't want Bomb Bomb to go into this fight injured. I don't know that I like Crown on Bomb Bomb. I think it's too easy for it to die. I do want the Shade Sculptor on Shilbo, I think. I don't need another unit, so I'll just pass on the Gnome Trip. But I think the Shade Sculptor is too good here. Ooh, Shell Shield. We're going pretty heavy on uh, defense here, but the Shell Shield could keep Chrono alive, which would be huge. I would like that. Man, I don't, maybe we should just go for Chomp Chomp at this point, to be honest. It's still in the pool. If I find it, that's GG. I don't know that I need another Shell Bow, given that I just took the Shell Shield. So actually, I don't think the, the other route wins here. I think I do actually go to the bottom. A chance that Chomp Chomp is definitely worth taking. Hmm. These all suck. Could technically do Moko Totem with my 
Pyra, but it would take a while for that to pop. You know. But that would be a way to kill Wooly Drek if I face Wooly Drek. Won't do much into the other fight, though. Ice Dice is a no-take. Heart Forge. Don't think I have any actual heals. Storm Bear Spirit just sucks. But maybe it's the call here. I mean, that would be a way to rush Wooly Drek down. Or even, uh, you know, Marrow and all that. So if I face Cats, I could see this being okay. Just take it. If I get a Chomp Chomp, none of this matters. I don't. I do get a Yuki, though. Hmm. If I take the Yuki, we could probably drop Pyra. Into this fight, though, Yuki wouldn't be good if it's Cats. And even if it's, uh, Drek. I could see if any amount of teeth end up spawning on charms, it's not going to be good for Yuki. Also, I don't know that I got support for Yuki. I could drop Bomb Bomb for this fight. Agent Blunky, as Voyx likes to call him. You know, I think just with my playstyle, Blunky's not going to be good. Uh, I don't think he does anything in the final fight. And he's not going to do anything for the upcoming fight. I mean, honestly, the only thing that is making sense to me here is Yuki, but I don't know. Do I drop Bomb Bomb for it then? I just hope it's not Cats. I guess so. I'm gonna not crown it, I think. I don't know. Pyra. Pyra's pretty good. We'll do it like that. If it's cats, so be it. It is cats and marrow spawn behind a unit. Annoying to say the least. Andy has extra health. Jesus, dude. This game is like extra hardcore hard mode for me. Get some acorn to mobile campfire. Really? You're gonna bottom deck me that? Our deck is actually pretty fat, it seems. Stormbear Spirit. It's whew, definitely aggravating. Do I give health to Colonel or give another one of these horrible snow cards to Smog? 
given that I have... Between all of these hits, I have to imagine Marrow's dying. So I'm thinking I just drop past this crap. Okay, that was a good gold turn. Still don't have any snow, man. Jesus. This is some shit. Oh, I need to get a shelbo off. the mojo. Alright. Looks like we're getting through this here. Spirits. Not even enough to kill that. Alright, we get through that fight. Bomb bomb's back. Nice, we got it. The deck is so fat, and there's so many bad Snow Dweller cards that maybe I should just do the Gnome Traveler, but nah. I think we should hopefully be able to get something here. Frost Beller's scrap pile. They're not very good. Frostbill is probably what I do. I think it has more synergy with the thing is I don't need Chrono to win, I don't think. Simply a Pyro with Mokro and Colonel and a plethora of defense should be enough. A frost bell could just help Colonel survive even more. We got big money here. Not the greatest shot. Our deck is so fat I don't even know that I can justify a grabber. Dragon Pepper is okay. Definitely we want a crown. Get all of our units crowned. I don't know though. Lumen Vase. So this fight is fight number six, which is Crunker or Trees. I 
I don't think Yuki will be good into them, actually. I don't have enough frost for this fight. Grabber could be okay into Krunker, but it won't do much in the other fight. Demon Heart. Maybe we just take some of these. Hopefully we can get like a snow charm or something. Start with block. That could go on uh, Yuki. If I do that, I should get rid of Pyra. the whole time. Oh no, I already moved the crown already. Hmm. Could put it on Bomb Bomb, then it survives for quite a lot longer. I just don't know if I'm going Yuki. If I don't end up with a snow cake, I kind of regret passing on the one, but I'd have even one less crown had I done that. But maybe I should have took the snow cake, I'll admit. Block on Bomb Bomb. I do want to use it for this fight, because this fight could be bad for us. I think a s both of them are just especially bad because of my lack of snow. I'm telling you, I'll tell you once, I'll tell you again. For being the snow dwellers, they are the worst snow clan. They're the only one that doesn't actually have any items that apply snow beyond the neutrals. Every other clan has additional snow cards. This clan doesn't. They're horrible. Um... I think this often would block six, especially in the final battle if the plan is, even if the plan is Pyra. I don't know though, it's probably just safest to put it on Yuki. I'm gonna wait on it. I'm gonna take another one of these. How many times do I get bird charm? Shit charm. So stupid. I'm gonna use Yuki. I have just enough for that, but it's just not that good of a card. It's okay. Just a one. If it didn't, I don't know. The fact that it consumes is just pretty wonky. If we fight trees, I think we want to keep the units crowned. Um. Yeah. I could Lumen the Colonel or the Pyra and uncrown Bomb Bomb. I don't know that Bomb Bomb wants to be crowned. Could also technically just not start with Colonel. But I don't think I like that. I don't know. Maybe I do. For this fight, I think we want the Shelbo Lumined. I think we want Pyra. If we fight trees, I think we want Pyra to be the thing that's multi-striking instead of Colonel. 
it's Krunker, I think we are just going to be happy to have the Shelbo Lumen Vaste. Yeah. Yep, it's Krunker. Alright, at least he got a useless charm. I feel like we do need the defense here just because the Krunker I cannot lock down. survive, but then you can't do their shit. What an absolute fuck show. So I can't kill the Ice Forge. What a dumb fucking unit. Heaven forbid I draw that, 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 or that, or even that, or even that. Instead, I'm just fucking fucked. I could put the kernel down, and I guess I will. I could have shell bowed that. That gave 10 acorn to them, though. Uh, 
And no matter what, this is fucked up. I think if I sunrod this, though, I'll at least kill all that. Definitely got enough health there now. Dude, that just doesn't stop fucking coming. So ridiculous. I knew this fight would be awful, and it is. It motherfucking is. Jumbo is basically the fallow mask of this clan. The only reason I'm even in this right now is because of Shilbo. Uh, Could loom in the pyra, but whatever. Just turn my brain off and win. Maybe a companion limit would have been okay there. Eh, he's got so little money, but being able to choose the charm would be nice. So this is Haze, or whatever you call it. Neither of which we want this for. I got Pyra, though, that can... Uh, Pyra already does what a decent enough job against the Hayes fight. So what about if it's the Hedgehog fight, the Warhog fight? Spike is... I mean, it might just be nice to have Spike still. Um, yeah, I think it would be. I think we keep the Shelbo. Uh, that would be the way to beat the hedgehogs and 
to beat the other fight. I think we're just good because we have the Pyra, and still the Shelbo kind of beats that as well. So, yeah. We got it. And do we want a random charm or a choice of charm or even a card with a charm? Let's go with the choice. Balance charm on Yuki. Or sun charm. this fucking card. All it did was made it lose more scrap. It's so stupid. So, on Yuki it would give a better cooldown, technically better damage and better health, but more importantly, puts it out of shellbow range. I think we drop Pyra then. We keep it for this fight. But I would say this is worth... We'll put, yeah, we'll switch out Pyra for the next fight. And we'll crown Yuki. I think that makes quite a lot of sense. And nothing else. Hmm. Burster. Left Pyra, eat two hits. this with the uh, macro. Oh, God damn it. That's so annoying. Okay, I'm never taking that card again. Well, at least we offset them. At least that should be fine. Sacrifice Spike here. So Spike could take the first hit. And technically, if I Shell Shield Spike, it would take every hit. And that would be fine.
to offset them. Take a six there, kind of sucks, but whatever. Jesus, another burster. Fucking ridiculous. I do kill them here. I need to offset these. Definitely need to offset this shit. Here. squeezing out the little gold here that I can. some damage. It doesn't matter though. This spice in this fight hasn't mattered at all. school before I can kill these backliners. Shit. I have 20. I guess I could have uh, given the spike here and I could have got the two, or I could have, yeah I should have done the, the pyro, I, for some reason I thought I was only attacking twice, um, but whatever, it's all good. So I could get one more crown, considering we want Yuki in, I think that makes sense. So.
So main floor is Colonel Makro Yuki. Bomb bomb on the off floor. I guess we're going into the other fight, but I don't care too much. This fight is so easy. So I don't know. Muncher could be okay. Um, wouldn't have to... F like, the deck is so fat, but... I don't know. I could use, like, another Storm Globe if one's offered, but a Snow Cake would be ideal. Muncher's okay, but... You know, I could get another crown on the colonel, for example, would be really good. Yeah, we, we want a crown on the colonel. Nimblin Biscuit. That's really good. Yes, and it's cheap. I don't even think we crown a snow cake in the final fight. Um, Storm Bear Spirit, never taking that again. Both these cards are like on my never take list. Snow, snow Dwellers, this is like personification of why I don't like this clan a lot of the time. But yeah, we have a shell bow, which is the, pers the personification of why they're good. It's literally shell bow, pretty much. Um, any changes? I don't think so. Starting with the Ice Forge. Interesting. Alright, Yuki's good to go. Super good to go. <clears throat> Get a chrono down. Let's just do this to kill the Ice Forge. Kill this guy. <sighs> Fuck. How are we gonna take care of Grizzle? Him coming in behind there. This is why the. Fuck, dude. Yeah, I know this is pretty bad, but. I don't have much other choice. Um, kind of have to just do this now. Dude. 
if someone dies, it should be Colonel. Freeze the fucking Mega Minute here. <sighs> this is easily the hardest Frost Guardian, default Frost Guardian fight that there's ever been. Wait, that doesn't work. We're just going to lose Chrono and Colonel. I can't have Yuki get injured for the next fight. Alright, we need to take these out. Two to the attacker. That's fucking abysmal, but whatever. These are offset, that's good. I can use the some chump blocks to to work something out there. I have no chump blockers if I redraw right now. Guess I can just chump block that. Let me do this. Five five kills that. injured. Whatever. We stick with this um, setup. This is a setup I mainly meant for the end game. I guess I could have... I never predicted that fight would have been so bad. Don't know that I've done anything different, but yeah, Yuki definitely 
will carry us in this fight. I don't. Uh, this will be the rare case where I think this fight is easier than the Eye of the Storm. So let's win it. Do need to find Snowcake in time. Can't let the Frost Crusher get out of control. If you lose Colonel here, that's fine. I should put Chrono down now, so I can get to double hit him with Yuki. Uh, no, because Bomb Bomb's attacking. Fuck. Itself, unfortunately. But we got the jailer down, so pretty sure it's GG at this point. It's a risky turn to do it. Get 
front of some stuff here. Goddamn Frost Guardians. It, end, did end, it did end up getting easier, though, as we suspected. Actually, you know what? Don't. On second thought, don't. <clears throat> ha. Alright. Well, I would say the number 13 did have an unlucky Frost Guardian fight. I honestly thought we might lose, but... Luckily, we were able to hold on. Definitely good that Yuki didn't have to die. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to shell blow it. Alright, up to 14. Not bad. I mean, it was a cool run and how it kind of evolved over time. Like, we were going to use Pyra, but then we found Yuki. And just kind of speculatively, we're like, well, Yuki probably is going to be doing a lot more damage than Pyra. Maybe. You know, if I didn't pick up the snow cake, who knows? Maybe I don't put Yuki in, but the combo of the snow cake, and then especially the uh, balance charm with the Shelba, then, you know, even if the balance charm, if all it ever did was make it get two health, that already would have been the main thing I want, but the reduced cooldown is pretty good too. So yeah, I mean, at the end, we have the top tier dudes in I don't necessarily consider Pyra top tier, but Pyra's okay. If you have like a multi-striker, Pyra's okay. Or a barrager. Not a barrager like B Bomb Bomb usually though. I mean, there's counters off scent, so it kind of works, but maybe not. Alright, fun run. If not frustrating at points. So we're up to 14. Jinta. Probably going to be a Clunk Master run. That would be the correct order in the rotation. But yeah, we'll see. So up to... No, nah, we're not even moving up percents now. <laughs> it goes already at 42%. 28 vanquishes. Uh, should be the 30th. Should be. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.